Tell them y'all information, then we'll get into the conversation. That's J O E G R I T dollar sign S, and that's that's all on platforms. A anytime you look for me, I ain't nothing different. Absolutely, absolutely. Go ahead, Buki. All right, flip the script. Yeah, flip you all script. up in your face over there. You looking at yourself like, hold up, talk to us, nigga. Flip the script. F L I P S K R I P T off on Facebook. Heffrey Bogart on Instagram. Half Monster on Twitter. Um, Hula Gang Boss. Let's go. Now, are y'all a group together? Are y'all do separate things? Tell me how it go. Cause I heard Joe Grit song. Was you on Joe Grit song? We was on Shameless Radio. Like, tell me like how y'all connected. What's going on with that? So we, everybody can know, you know. Cause I see y'all heavy together. That's so dope. I don't know, so you know. Oh, you be tuning in today, waiting on Joe Grit. He the president. I don't know. <laughs> That's dope. You be checking out Shameless Radio. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, we 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 first cousins. Like my mom oh and my his God. father. My mom and his father, brother and sister. I knew the you know. What what I mean, we first say. cousins. So when, when people ask how we met or whatever, he was I was home one day. He came home from the hospital. So <laughs> that was that's how we met. Like that's beautiful. Yeah. Family is um. Yeah. Family is. I think it's the best route to go, you know, with family, you know. It's the well, the best majority route to go is there. family. My brother, my our producer, that's our cousin. Like, we all related. I'm related too, y'all. Look at my nose. I'm related too. <laughs> 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 Let them know where y'all from. Y'all from Bridgeport. You better say well, we something. We're, 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 we're from Bridgeport. Come on, we're from Bridgeport. We're from Bridgeport. We're from Bridgeport. We're from Bridgeport. From South Norwalk. We all live in Bridgeport, but we yeah, from we live in Bridgeport. From oh, South Norwalk. Shit. Yeah, we live in Bridgeport. We living in Bridgeport for years, but we okay. originally from Norwalk. They right, gentrified. So what y'all repping? Y'all rep both or what would I mean it's Fairfield County, so it's 203, but now nah, we we so no, we South Norwalk. You know what I'm saying? I, I I've been doing a lot of like putting in a lot of work in Bridgeport, doing a lot of different things, but we South Norwalk though. All right, so what? Tell me what's going on up there for for, for me for a heart friend. I really don't think it's nothing going on but seagulls and sand and stuff. Like, what's going on in Norwalk since y'all claiming that? What's there? Is there a hood there? Like, am I gonna see a bodega, a fake booty, a piece of track laying on the floor? Let me know. <laughs> nah, it's, it's definitely it's definitely hoods out there. I mean, I. The the projects I'm from is is the oldest projects in, in Connecticut, like still standing. Oh, so you got a legendary project. Good. energy though versus um Norwalk. Do you feel like Norwalk fuck with y'all more? Have nah, you know but, like some type where you come nah, from? The, the majority nah. of Norwalk is in Bridgeport because they gentrified yeah, yeah, yeah. it, so they pushed everybody out. So oh, if you come to Bridgeport, God, the that. majority of Bridgeport is Norwalk now because they they made everybody leave. The hood where he grew up at and we all grew up at, like, your skin color, you can't even walk through there or you're arrested. But we grew up there. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same vibe. It ain't too music. far from each other. Okay. But what brought y'all to do music? Like, was it when y'all was younger? Y'all been doing this since y'all was younger? Or y'all was like, I'm tired of messing with all these other dudes. Let's do this shit together as family. Like, what well, made y'all be styling? I'm gonna let, I let him go first and, and say, like, hit, you know, and then well, I'll I go after. I was doing music first. And I was just trying to get y'all flowers while y'all here <laughs> right now. Like, somebody get <laughs> Let the nigga in the back. I was doing music say, first. Oh, shit, fuck it. <laughs> I was doing music first. And, um... You know, rest in peace. It's an OG from my hood. You could Google his name, look him up. His name Dolomite. He just passed away, um, what, two years ago? He was like the matriarch. He was on the radio. He was this and that. And we all grew up looking up to him. And he used to come through my hood and do that was my big homies. He used to do music with them. And the studio was on my block. So I used to be a little dude going up in there. And I was always running around getting in trouble. They told me, you need to focus that, da da da. And that's when I started rapping. Rich was younger than me. I ended up getting my own studio in my mom's basement. And, you know, he used to come down there and da-da-da-da. I went away to college. Not real college, but that's what I tell my kids, college. Mm -hmm. And then when I came home, he was doing it. And I'm hearing, oh, Grits, Grits, Grits. I'm like, who, my little cousin? And then he had the place on fire. If you look him up, YouTube, Google it. He was all over the news. He, he was big time. I was like, damn, that's my little... He was really... and. Boom, then he went away to college. 
<laughs> and then when he came home, I was doing my thing heavy. And then that's when we just said, yo, we're going to do this together. And then we've been rocking ever since and built a team around us. That sounds really, really good. Yeah. Go ahead, Rich. Now, I mean, that that's basically how, how you know, um, you know, I'm two, probably five or six, six years younger than uh than Flip. Five, so, man, five. Give me some, give me some, give me some five. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Five, man, give me some. In a few, in a in a few weeks, right there, in a few weeks, they jump back I up. That I need that year. That, that, <laughs> give me that year. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. Like I, I, you know, I always was in the hip hop, and um, you know, just coming up. Like there's a few dudes in my hood that was rapping, but mainly my brother was was rapping, and and you know he was, you know, linking with Flip, and they was doing their thing in the basement of my aunt house. And I used to always come through and play around with it and just be inspired by it. But, you know, shit, they was 16, 17. I'm the young dude, 12, 13, whatever the case may be. So, you know, I really never was able to record back then. But I, you know, I definitely inspired to, like, rock with it. And then, like he said, like, he went away, did his, you know, little little vacation. And I just got in tune with it. And and then, say, like, exactly what he said. Then, then when he came home, he, he heard I was doing what I was doing. Then I took my vacation, and then by the time I came back from my vacation, we just been like co-defenders, co-ds, like just running. Just, okay, just... all right. That's me and him right there. When we got a CD, when we and him do CDs together, you'll see the co-defenders. Okay. And that's together. I got a question. Yeah. How I'm looking? How I'm looking? My angles right. Yeah, you don't want to change and got on some 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 sheer. No, shit. I didn't change. We waited an hour for Joe Grits. I'm like, nigga, I'm about to fucking fry some fish and get fucking with this nigga shrimp. Something, okay? The angle right. I ain't used that on the little cook some fish and shrimp. Did I win? Did Say I win? It's the <laughs> All right, so you come back looking like Morticia. What's going on? Bar shit. You already know I'm asking for a bar or two. You better give me something. You know, I don't care if, if whatever bar is hard. It don't got to be freestyle. This could be recycled bar right now. Whatever was hard. So people can be like, oh, let me hear that song or something like that. You want to go, Grits, or you want me to go? Nah, I don't know. It don't matter. I throw him a little light stuff. See, I retired, but I'm going to go ahead because you asked. Let me give you <laughs> I said, listen, better go ahead, nigga. Let's flip script sicker than a dope head lock for the weekend, nigga. Soldier boy. I rock cannons and bandanas. Hating ass niggas and feds, they can't stand us. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Come on, say. let's go, you know. That's what I like go. to say that, now. You get real raw responses. Come on, let's go, niggas. I got Grizz. Give Grizz a with something, bitch. Uh, that was it? I think I moved back. All right, go I, back. I'll take the... Shit, shit, don't give her woo back. <laughs> I thought you was about to say something else, man. You had me. Nah, I said, I said, um, they wanted me to give it up. Got a job now, they thinking that I switch it up. Now I'm still gonna be rich as fuck. At Nordstrom with the walk, shirts in the cut. The way right. I hustle jobs, think I double dutch. I still think that I'm I'm behind, I ain't doing much. Okay. Money stay inside my mind, trying to run it up. Chasing dreams like Meek, but I fucked it up. Okay. Now I hustle like Nipsey in an armor truck. You see okay. niggas try to kill me, got an armor up. Okay. Shot my car five times, all I did was duck. It still makes sense. Me, I ain't giving up. I ain't switching up. My daughter's standing right here trying not to cuss. No, he about but, the daughters now. Don't play. <laughs> different shit, niggas go do different shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I incorporate her in my music now. Like she that's the, she, And that's the best thing that you can video. do right now because little kids and young teenagers, they need to hear shit like that. And your, y'all both make sense. You know what I'm saying? My arm hurt. But y'all both make <laughs> sense. And that's good. That's good. I can honestly say that. that you make sense. I like that both of what y'all got to say. So what do y'all think about the hip hop? Or do, can I see the niggas in the back now? You behind um, them forever. You know I like to look at niggas now. Let me see the niggas now. They got the, niggas back there. It's our producer, the one that's responsible for the beats, the studio, the mix Take off track. the hoodie. Take off the hoodie. I like <laughs> looking at niggas. Let's give these girls something to look at. Oh, on now. All right. You want to get the dress done for us? No? Okay. All right. Oh, you got the long ones, y'all. So you do the beats. How long you been doing beats, honey? I can't hear you. I've been doing beats since I was like 15. All right. Beats since you was 15? Oh, no, nigga. Now you got to do a beat right now with your lips and everything. That uh, beat and everything. What happened? I can't. He left. 
Hey, my fault. My phone started ringing. Okay. Hey, Bookie Boo. All right. Let's hear the beat and let's see if the baby will move to it. That's how we know it's crack. <laughs> Make up a beat right now. Since 15, you should be able to be like. Right here. Hold on. Turn that up. We got a beat playing right now. Can you hear this one of this? All right. Let's hear this beat. Y'all can't steal this beat, y'all. Don't be stealing today. We listening. I can't hear nothing. That's the joint I did. That's all right. That's like a little sp scary, little woo. You feel me? I talk that shit. Y'all was talking a little harder than what y'all was talking. You feel me? I come up with like, you know. Yo, yo, yo. We should do a light battle. I, I, I think H, hey, that's the one I jumped on. Who else back there? He ain't the only nigga back there. That's the one, yeah. That's the one, Grit. Yeah. Yeah, I got something to that called um State County Federal. All right. Well, y'all need to check the State County Federal out. Check all that stuff out. Um, that's the only dude back there. Pax. Rock, say what Those up. bitches here. Uh -oh. oh, you had to come to the lean with it. Oh, <laughs> you must be wife dub. You feel me? Be high. high. That's not me. Be high. <laughs> <laughs> Bones came over his junk all the way to the eye level, like, nigga, hey, if I was next to you, you would not know it's me, like. Juicy. Juicy, here go something else. All right. Fun fact, he, he, he did, he produced something on my, my, my first album when I, when, when he was like 16, 15. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all doing y'all thing, yo. To be honest, like, I, I like the movement. Y'all doing y'all thing right now. You feel me? And that's good. That's really good. Y'all 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 do y'all think y'all just had a um there was a performance or something going on? Talk, talk about that. How was the energy there? Yeah, I, I just did two. I did one last Friday and Saturday. I know they ran they did one Saturday, right? I can't hear y'all. Yeah, you can hear me? I can hear you and I gotta hear the light skinned one. Let me start. <laughs> I'm racist now. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't hear him. But I, can you hear me? Hi, yellow. Let's yeah, now we can hear you. He can't hear us. It's the light. It's the light. I'm brown. No. I'm catchy. But uh, about a week or two, I'm, I'm going to drop like a big announcement. So that's another thing I need everybody to stay tuned on. It's so, definitely so where you was at? So whatever y'all do, it, keep me posted. And wherever y'all go, I get a free pass. Let's put this on camera right now, nigga. Everybody say yes, even the nigga with the sliding head with the little hoodie on, nigga. I want to be yeah. involved. Don't you forget good. about me. Give me one free ticket. You uh. good. You, you good anywhere we go. You get in. Mm-hmm. Right there on the stage and shit. Bro. If you ain't going like, to sing, you can't get on the stage. You got to do that song for me first. <laughs> I'm going to get on the stage even if you don't see my <laughs> You I'm get on the just, stage. Like, look it. I, he said I could come. He, Sent me this last night. This from the studio, nigga. I know. Listen, I'm in there. <laughs> he put a heart. What the fuck? Oh, uh, he can put hearts. How you figure out how to do that? I'm trying to figure this shit out. Our oh, niggas pressing oh, buttons. Oh, he took a snapshot. Oh, what the fuck just happened? I I'm trying to figure this shit out. You better I'm, make sure my angle's right with all the snapshots. What you doing too much? I ain't been on I, Skype. Might have been ten <laughs> years now. <laughs> all right, so. What do y'all feel like hip hop today? Like, like, what do you guys feel about it? Did y'all, you know, like, did y'all care about if um, Juice World died and stuff like that? Yo, my, that's why I was at the barbershop with my sons today and they was talking about it and they would seem sad. I really never listened to his music or know who he is except for like that one single. So, nah. My sister started to try it out with me. And I looked at them like, come on now. Y'all never listened to Juice World like that. Like, come on. They was like, with the other kids. No, okay, the other kids was sad. You was a sad. One thing is like moments. It's just like if somebody died. Somebody mm -hmm. that don't know them will be sad too at school. You'd be like, nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why the fuck is you sad? Me and I, nigga. You ain't know that nigga. He, he was um, <laughs> he was 21. So, yeah, like that's more they era, like the younger dudes era. Yeah, the younger I mean, kids. They they looking at them. My, little, my kids be watching, you know, his song. So they know him. I barely knew. Except that for that little ring song they play on the radio. 
I don't hey, know. That I don't... song was was tough. Like I liked it, that song, and then I heard him on um Funk Master Flex freestyling, which when he rap, he rap like it ain't that auto tune shit. So he he was a dope. He could freestyle off his head, crazy. Like if, if anybody YouTube him, like he definitely could do that. But you know, yeah, that he ain't really like our era to be like. He ain't what I would listen to. Um, like. Yeah, like what I'm saying is it's sad that you know. Well, everybody's life when you die is a lesson and all of that. And I feel like it's sad that he died like that. Like, you feel me? Like, these little kids, you have to be aware of these kids. These kids be having addictions to pills. Like, they're not on. That's the conversation I had with my kids. You look at your fucking eyes now, for real. You got to look at your kids' eyes like, no, nigga. You can't sniff them no more. It's the eye. Like, open your eye, nigga. I, I mean, I... I've always been a, a a seller, not a user. So like I, I can't really relate to their pills and like the drug use like that. But when I do talk to the, you know, the 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 youth where I'm from and shit, I just you know, Juice World, Fredo Santana, like they those all examples of, you know, what 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 the result could be at a young age. So <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know, it's like it is to me it, it's deeper than that because you gotta get what I'm saying, like you got a lot of these kids on pills. Because their parents got them on pills saying that they're crazy. Not, but they're not crazy. What's wrong with the kids is they have nothing to do. Everything on the TV is going on. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, they need shit to do. When I was young, it was shit for me to do. I had stuff right. to do. I wanted to do, you know? There's nothing for, for them to do. And then they say, oh, they too hyper. They're kids. They're going to run around. They're going to act bugged out. They're going to do crazy shit. So they say, oh, since this person's book, they act too hyper, let's give them a pill. And I feel like if that's part of the stuff, too. You're giving these kids pills. You don't think they're giving them to their friends? No, nah, it definitely these, these are prescribed pills. And then I went through that. I went through that as a youngin'. Like, they tried to put me on pills because I was wild. Yeah, but like, my, and, and my mother. Do that when you in jail as a juvenile. When you my mother was a young and you acting crazy, they gonna give your ass a pill. They gonna calm your little ass down. My mother was a young mother, so my grandmother was kind of like you know the matriarch, and you my grandmother Jamaican, straight straight out of Jamaica. She said, "Hell no, nah, we ain't doing that. That's he just need a belt." He's Jamaican and Panamanian. And she it. said, "He just need a belt." And they whooped me. I ain't take a pill. <laughs> I was good. They... <laughs> I feel like um. A lot of because it's like it gotta be something that's making up, and I know a lot of women that just do it just to get a check. I'm gonna tell you I know what it is. It's making them do it. The music is making them do it. Right. Period. Yeah. The music. You gotta do like do you gotta do like future. Forcing, the system is forcing them to do it too. I you gotta too. listen to me. You gotta do like future that don't do no drugs, but all his songs is telling you to do drugs. Yeah. That don't make sense. So that's why they on drugs. We can't say stop doing drugs. Future do drugs. You, he said he did do drugs. He did, but the shit he telling you to do, he don't. He admitted that he don't sip lean. He don't do none of that. But all his songs are about sipping lean. That's what. That's the sound right now. Uh, but that's his bread and butter. So yeah, he gonna do it. But he's telling you to do something that he don't even do, and people he's dropping them to the hellfire. So exactly. it's that's us. And people like you to keep making real music that's real, not hey, look, buddy. legendary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you fool. You feel me? Yeah. Like, nah, nah, you, you right. I like, and then it, it, on top of the music, is you know the music videos show the visual of what they speaking on. So it's a lot. It's a lot to it. The movies, um, well, it's, it's, mad, it's mad shit to it. Mhm. Mm it's a different yeah. era, like. I don't so think it's a different, different era. I think it's a war going on outside. Yeah. Nobody say like I feel like it's a war between real niggas and fake niggas in this industry. <clears throat> you know, even with like Takashi sixty nine, like you know, they <laughs> they didn't want to give that nigga time, but they gave him time because they was like, yo, you feel me? Like come, like you know, if you do this, it's gonna be the floodgates. Niggas gonna be doing for crazy shit and snitching and thinking they. You feel me? The really never that, that been that been going on. Yeah, he he really that ain't getting no time. On. He's just basically cool like made it cool. Like in the halfway house. Okay, uh, a lot of people made it cool. He made it cooler. So now them letting him out is going to change the game. I was talking about with, with fam the other so day. To be honest, I said he about to change it. Change the game. It's going to separate the game. 
It's gonna stop because real niggas ain't gonna chill with a nigga. Real niggas, not that's they why are. they got caught. They are. They are. They got caught because they kept on the phone like, yo, I know I shouldn't have chilled with this nigga. They was on the phone like, yo, I know I should have chilled with this nigga, but they kept on fucking doing it. You get what I'm saying? They thought this was high school. This ain't fucking high school, nigga. This is real life. You get what I'm saying? They 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 doing it though. They could do it, but real niggas not gonna fuck with that. It's because it's a separation. 2020 is gonna be a separation. It's 2020. 20 niggas that's fake gonna be over there, and the real niggas gonna find their way over here. That's what I think. I, I, listen, I pray that's true, but the way it's looking right now, some of the real dudes is leaning that way because that's, they wasn't real from the beginning. That means the separation. Right. Like Everybody right. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Everybody not gonna make it, nigga. Everybody not gonna make it. That's just what it is. You gotta accept that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know if any music is played where I'm at and that nigga is being, and that shit is played, I'm walking out. That's me. You get what I'm saying? I'm not listening to that radio station at all. You get what I'm saying? And there's niggas like me. You get what I'm saying? And they're gonna have to what? Come on with have it. To turn that shit off. You get what I'm saying? Just like, um, 93.7, you know, let certain people on their radio because they know that motherfucking sales is dropping. Niggas not listening to them right now. Nobody's going to Jingle Jam. Who the fuck is going to J- <laughs> They still do Jingle Jam? Who not a Kim's movie. Nobody want to see Lizzo. They talk about it's a girl thing. Lizzo, Meg Thee Stallion, um, all they the little... They canceled it. Oh, they uh-huh. canceled it? Yeah, they canceled it. Yeah, because nobody bought tickets. Yeah. Believe me, nobody was talking. I asked my daughter, and she was like, What? Like, nobody, like, the whole thing is this. One thing about a business, if you don't got content, contact, or you don't got, you know, uh, uh, you don't got like love for, for your surroundings, you ain't gonna benefit. Yeah. Facts. If they fuck with people, people gonna fuck with them. That, the, way, the way that your results is, is on how you treat people. Yeah. Fact. You understand that? So the results, you might not be a nobody, but you might get better results than somebody. Why? Because of the way you treat people. The way that's you it. treat people is going to get you in a long round. You get what I'm saying? I separate real niggas from... I might not know you from nowhere, but you know, I'm going to treat you... Real niggas understand... What, you should do that with real niggas. If you feel that's a real nigga, you treat that nigga because you done gave all these fake dudes chances. Why not give a real nigga? Yeah, that's true. Right. 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 You know when you around a real nigga, a real nigga say some shit that you said in your head and be like, all right, this a real nigga, let me try. You feel me? A go. fake nigga just going, a fake nigga going just, just moved all the way different. Yes. It's going to make you pick up the phone and talk out there like, yo, my nigga. <laughs> you feel me? He's a real nigga. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we got to pay more homage and be kind to the people. You know, yeah, everybody's been hurt. Everybody burnt bridges. But still be kind to the real niggas. We gotta start celebrating real people. That's it. Yeah, I that, that. Yeah, that's the truth. I wish everybody else was like on that that page, especially when it come to like radio personalities, people that podcast like do what you do. Certain people will interview the rat, whoever, just because it's gonna get good ratings and you know that's- you. You ain't approving of that shit. You ain't gonna want to rock with that shit. But yeah, but see, that's the, the whole point, and that's why nobody showed up to their slousy, wowsy shit because they, <laughs> it doesn't matter what she the said hell they you wild. doing. You can have the platform, but you can't hold the ring. You feel me? Like you, that's just how it is. Like, yeah, you should have talked to certain people because certain people would have been like, "Yo, go to this, go to that, go to this." I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Nobody want to go see no Snow Print and hear one song, and I like that one song, but I'm not paying no money to go hear that one song and then hear all the one-hit wonders in the world. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to, like, national radio, nobody even really fuck with it anyway. Like, I don't really... really I don't like, re- they need to, like, back in the day, we, they used to do a lot of concerts and people used to come through and do, you know, local artists and big people, and they used to like, they don't do that no more. They do that in other areas. But they don't do like big concerts for Connecticut free ones where everybody travel and it's free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? So, you know, where do you guys see yourself? Um, I don't know, in 2020. 
What's anything? Well, don't say anything big because niggas be hating. You can't even say yo, what you about to do no more. Yeah, because you know. People be on the phone like, okay, take, now I got it. Should you no take camera. ten steps forward? Somebody pulling you five back with some hate. Yeah, so, that, that's why I've been really like quiet with the moves. But I mean, only thing I definitely could say, which always been every year, like I'm gonna just keep building my fan base and, and get no more around the map. Like I don't really, I wouldn't say I don't care about Connecticut, but like I, I've been recognized as a elite artist in Connecticut for shit. I, Almost twenty, like shit, fifteen years, damn near. So yeah. I, I, I'm good on like trying to prove anything that you know Connecticut. Like I'm, I'm trying to have China and California and Switzerland. I, I want them to like be like Joe Grits. Like you feel me? And Connecticut. You get, China's like the best, 10. the best one right there. You them niggas will buy anything. They'll buy a roach with your fuckers grits on that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a roach. Okay, we eating that. That's a good market right there, yo. For That's real. why I got my merch. I'm I'm putting a lot of merchandise out. Gonna definitely have like the the, the walk. My I got like walk sweaters and hoodies about the drop. Share everything to me. Put it on my um. Send it through Instagram. And like, even, even this, like put put these. The I'm a, I'm gonna have the the, the sweaters. Um, they now, should come the off. hoodies, man. I need the hoodies. I need the walk hoodie. Yeah, yeah, the hoodies and sweaters is coming. Oh, here go the walk shirt. Hmm. Yeah. Hold, Hold on for a second. Ah, a lot of editing. <laughs> but yeah. <coughs> mm hmm That's good. I'm happy for y'all. Y'all black brother, keep doing y'all thing. My show is for the black brother. I think my show is just about black brothers, yo. My show is to represent the black brothers in Connecticut <laughs> and let them know that our black brothers is doing something, you know? That's what my, Connecticut, anywhere in the world, fuck that, anywhere in the world, you know, it's for the brothers and showing that they doing something, because we, they always showing that we doing something else, you know, and it's cool, but we got to show the positive shit that we doing too, y'all could be doing something else. Yeah, not for real, I mean, we, we, we both got sons and shit, so, you know, it's definitely like to motivate the youth in the community, but overall, definitely the ones that we done made and, and we done like raised, so. Uh -huh. Yeah. My son doing music now. Oh, um, yeah. You never know. You might be like, you feel me? What y'all is, but bigger. I don't want to put nobody name. I don't want to put no example because y'all y'all own shit. And people are doing it. We working towards it. It's going to happen. Just make sure I got a seat at the table. I don't want too much. I just want a seat at the table. You got, it. You good. Like I got a lobster tail for you. Got some lobster tail for you. Yeah. I'll be right there. I don't want no lobster. I just want to be there. You know, I'll be media. You feel me? Make sure I do that shit out. I know what to do with my clout, motherfucker. I don't need no nothing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to work my shit. That's the problem with people. You get what I'm saying? People want to get paid. People want to do this and that. They don't know how to be a part of something and move off of that. I was a part of that. That's something you can put on your resume. I was a part of that versus... You get what I'm saying? I was paid to do it. Okay, but you might not can't produce that because you was a part of it. You ain't the nigga that did it all. You feel me? People got to know the difference, you know? People got to start supporting people. How do y'all feel about the support and heart for Connecticut? It's hard, huh? All right. Um, True. Well, go ahead. Well, uh, for, for me, the, the, it ain't really hard anywhere outside of where I'm actually, where I'm from. Yeah. Like, I mean... We don't spit like fantasy rap or like fairy tales. Like we really spit in our lives. So we we did like people <laughs> that personally know us where we from and shit might dislike us for some personal shit. So they might not support cause of cause of the personal dislike. But when we go to That's Hartford, the main thing that everybody say, and I can say that too. That's the truth. Every uh, they that the 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 re the they 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 know they like it though. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh, trust me, I don't heard from like a female or somebody like yo. What's the name? Fuck with your shit. He just not going to show that he fuck with it because he don't like you because some shit you did or some shit your people's did. Like nine you know? ten years ago, or his boy don't like you, so he can't show that he like you because yeah. that's his boy. But he yep. really 
this shit behind closed doors. It be doors. some legendary shit. You be like, damn, is this the motherfucking the Game like, of Thrones off this motherfucker? We go to Hartford. We go to Hartford. We go to Waterbury. We go to New York. Go to Jersey, and they'll be jamming hard. Yo, give me a CD. I buy one right now. Da, 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 da. But you, you know what's good? If y'all got that, then y'all gonna be seeing that money right then and there. Y'all got yeah. like that because niggas well, yeah, buy. Well, um, yeah. Y'all make y'all had the merches and them CDs. Y'all yeah. Do, y'all got the merch like the CDs and everything. Yeah, now nah, I got man. Listen, look at I'm I'm home right now, so like, look, I keep I keep like a brick. I keep like a brick on me. Like, you feel me? You know what? Yes, ah, uh, yes, that's money right there. I don't know why people don't look at that as money. Show them again. Show them again, real fast. Them all the CDs right there. Whenever you walk, you getting money, bruh. You know. <laughs> but, but this, this Bro, the show the stock right again. Here. I just want to see the stock this, again. This, the niggas forgetting that the niggas that be listening to them, they, they got regular cards with CD players. People still listen to CD players, yeah. Yeah, nah, definitely. Like you know, my 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 hardcore fans that been with me for, to day one, like they even if they download it on iTunes or or title yeah, or something, they, they want to see They be like, yo, I don't want to download. I want the CD. And you somewhere, and they see you perform. They'll support you right then and there. Yeah, yeah. When where we met at when we was in Hartford, um, DJ Rex from '93, shit, he he paid for a CD. Like mostly when I give it to like DJs, I be just giving it to them for free. But he was like, nah, like like you you put money into making it and putting the cover. Like he gave me he gave me um a dime for it. So that's good. That's that's good. That's a real, real uh, right my there. daughter. Right. That's she, a real she's my action. business partner. You see her? She, she nodded. <laughs> hey, mama. You see? Yeah. We have a final statement. Joe Grid. Um, that's Joe Grid. That's J O E G R I T dollar sign. That's on all platforms YouTube, Facebook, all that good stuff. Joe Grid's the general, man. New album be out in like a week or two. Um, you know, flip the script, we can say what he got to say. But either one of us, you say, you put any of our name. On the internet, Google period, we're gonna pop up. Let him know. Yo, Hula Gang Balls, flip the script. F L I P D A S K R I P T on Facebook. Um, Heffrey Bogart on, on Instagram. Like he said, YouTube it, flip the script. All my videos pop up. Here's a pop up right behind mine. You put Joe Gris on YouTube, everything will pop up. Our videos, thousands, hundreds of videos. So we up there. So, uh, Y'all here, hula gang all day. Yeah, it's, it. it's easy to find us. So definitely, yeah. whoever listening, whoever watching, link with us, man. We do collabs. We come through your your, your town, your city, and we. And I you got know, a producer on deck. H, come in, man. Right. Yeah, they got two. You got H O T. You got Rob. Follow me. Follow me. H O T. Dab Facebook H dot O dot T on Instagram. Spell it out. H dot O dot T. Um, H O T on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I got beats. I got exclusives for the low, 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 low. Hit me the fuck up. I got y'all. The low, 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 low. He's in a beat right Ooh. here. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, right now. Joe Ski, salute. All right. Let me, I'm just going to stop at this little corner real fast. Hold up. Because I don't okay. want to be editing all this shit. No, damn. <laughs> like, I'm about to be editing for these niggas. Like, 50 minutes, my nigga? No, never. Let me hold on. Let me end the recording. Stop.